Waiters of Reddit. What fucked up it have you overheard while waiting tables? NSFW. One time. There was this 5 or 6 year old boy who wouldn't stop talking about baseball. He was so excited and happy talking about all the players and how he was going to make it one day. Then his grandmother turned to him and said. Honey. Stop. You are never going to be a baseball player or play with the pros. So just stop. The boy just stopped and went silent. He was quiet and looking at the table the rest of his meal. The kid was not obese or anything like that. He's a ducking kid. Let him dream. Itch. I waited tables tended bar in the late 80s, the villager. Coconut Grove FL. After college. Two ladies sat down at a table in my section. I greeted them and got them water. A man showed up and instantly turned pale. Turns out it was his wife and his girlfriend and they had found about each other and set him up. He had his head in his hands the whole time. I didn't hear a lot of what they were saying. But the pieces I did hear were unpleasant. There was this group of four elderly women who would come into my family's restaurant once a month. One month. One of them came by herself. I asked hi Edith. Where are all of your friends? They all died. And she broke into tears. I felt like she the rest of the night. Once I was stood right behind a table of three ladies. Just about to collect some glasses. When one said to the other two. So both of you have tasted his cum? They then noticed me. All went bright red and apologized with heads down. I hurried away and told the rest of the staff immediately. I waited tables at the Olive Garden 10 years ago. Not really ducked up as much as it was funny. A guy and his wife sat down at a table and immediately started arguing. Something about his affair and how a baby from it was costing them money. Finally it culminated as I was bringing out their salad. As I walked away I heard the wife say. Well maybe if you hadn't boned our son's girlfriend and gotten her pregnant. We could afford to eat somewhere nicer than the ducking olive garden. Oh look. The highlight of my meals. Unlimited ducking bagged salad. Maybe you could save up and we could go to Joe's Crab Shack for our anniversary. As whole. I was serving a mid 60s man who kind of looked like Mr. Monopoly and two matriarchal looking ladies of the same age bracket. They were very friendly and asked me some questions about school. Where I was from originally. ETC. Later I am passing by their table and I hear the gentleman turn to one of the ladies and say tell her what you are. You're a big dig tease. She then informed the other lady she was indeed a big dig tease. I don't really wait tables. But I do scoop ice cream and bring it out to customers. Anyway. We have a regular who we all assume fought in Vietnam. He looks as if he fits in the age group and is always wearing camo pants and jacket. Not to mention he's referenced the war a few times. The whole point is. We can tell he's not quite right in the head and we assume it's because of his participation in Vietnam. One day as I go to bring him his ice cream. This was his second time that day. I jokingly tell him twice in one day. I know our ice cream's good but it can't be that good right? And just out of nowhere. He replies. Well it helps keep the suicidal thoughts away. I then refunded his money and told him how much life was worth living. After that. Whenever I see him. I make sure to talk to him for longer than a normal conversation would go. I know this may sound really really cheesy. But I hope he knows he's got at least one friend. Two guys sitting at my bar top. Looking shady as duck. Decided they were going to scout for the ladies. Now if you've worked in a continuously loud environment. You know that people will say anything when they think you can't hear them. Man. That was ducking stupid. What about the blonde with the blue dress? Nah. I was thinking of that one. He pointed to a smaller. More fragile looking brunette sitting by herself. They get quiet for a bit before the first guy asks are you sure you want to do this? The second guy. That's what she gets for dressing like a whore. Let's hope she parked in the back. I said duck that and called the police. They were asked to leave and one of the officers offered to follow the girl home. Edit. Thank you for the gold. It really made my day. 
I used to work behind a bar and heard some real gold. My personal favorite was this man who came in always bought his dog a better pint, Theakston's old peculiar, than what he was having, Foster's. If that's not ducked up I don't what is. I once waited on a couple that broke up while I was waiting on them. They came separately. The wife showed up first. She was very chipper and friendly and I grabbed her a water while she was waiting on her husband. The husband showed up like 10 minutes later. When I went to the table to grab his drink I could hear her saying what's wrong. What's your deal? Just talk to me. While I was waiting at the bar for his drink one of the hosts ran up to me and said hey I think your table is breaking up I look up to the corner where they are sitting and the wife is sobbing. Now what do I do? I have to bring him his drink even though surely they aren't going to stay and eat now right? Wrong. I brought him his drink. When I set it down in front of him. Expecting him to tell me thanks but no thank we are leaving. He says do you know what you want? Through her tears she says yes and orders. WTF I have to wait on these people now. I then have one of the most awkward tables of my life. Having to keep up my peppy attitude and fake smiles while this poor woman's life is crashing down. When it was all over and I set the bill down in front of the husband. I figure he would at least be kind enough to pay the bill. Alas. He pushed it back to me and said can you separate this. Please. It was the last table of my last shift of my last day at this place. Two top. Man and a woman. Both pretty attractive and looking extremely happy to be out on a date together. The meal goes smoothly. They ask for the check. I bring it. Upon returning to grab their credit card. I ask if they'd like me to box up their leftovers. He says sure. And just as I'm leaning in to grab her plate of pasta she looks him dead in the eye while holding his hand and says I'm pregnant. I freeze a bit. Then silently carry their plates back to the kitchen. I was so shocked that I went on autopilot mode and threw their leftovers away. The guy was not very hungry after that. Though. Not a waiter. But my wife and I were having a bite to eat the other day and overheard two women at a nearby table. One of them was bemoaning the fact that she'd been single for so long. Her friend chimed in with something truly inspired, Hitler had someone. And you're nicer than Hitler. Not overheard but witnessed. I served at a chain restaurant in a rich suburb and had a table with a man in a purple suit with matching hat with two girls who looked 16 or younger in what I would call clothes for clubbing on a weekday. After taking their order he mentioned how he was taking them to nice places. The regular people that came in were mostly the elderly or families. And this being a rich suburb most customers were white. The man in the purple suit was black. The two girls were Latino. For most of the night I was thinking stepdad? Family friend? I was young and naive till my co-worker straight up said dude that is a pimp. Like a real one. They were nice and tip normally. Waffle house waitress for 4 years in high school. I saw and heard so much sheet. I honestly got used to old truckers asking me if I wanted to make an extra tip in the parking lot at the grand old age of 16. But the one time I literally had to say what the duck I didn't even understand the conversation. Two Latino couples were sharing a booth and seemed to be having a good time. I don't speak Spanish but nothing in their tone made it seem unusual. Out of nowhere one of the husbands grabs his wife by the back of her hair slams her face into the table and just goes about his conversation he didn't even look at her she wiped her face off and just went back to talking and listening no one batted an eye at the table i delivered their food a few minutes later and all four of them seemed like nothing out of the ordinary had happened i've called out dozens of customers in my day you can say whatever the hell you want as a wf waitress not exactly a classy joint but I had no idea how to respond that scenario. People often don't realize that when you're sitting at the bar. The bartenders hear everything. Sometimes I talk with guests but sometimes people have really intense and private conversations like less than a meter away from me. I'll just keep my head down and rinse glasses and pour drinks and basically pretend I'm really busy. Just yesterday there were two guys in their early 20s. Talking about how their girlfriends were total hunts who nagged and itched all the time. 
They drank a lot of tequila and whiskey and at one point one guy said to the other, you should just sleep at my place. You can't drive like this. The other disagreed and they got in a drunken argument and at one point the guy who suggested the sleepover just grabbed the other guy's face and said, duck you and then they just started making out. Just out of the blue. Sloppy and drunk. Making out. It was weird and hilarious. Edit. Thanks for the AAU. I was bringing a check for a wealthy local businessman who was dining with his girlfriend. It was a big tab. And I was already counting the tip when the woman hurled his drink in his face and yelled to an aghast room of people. You didn't even pay for the abortion. And stormed out. The man calmly brushed the ice off his suit and looking around said. Not the first time. Won't be the last. I wheeled off and gave him the bill later. This is my boss's story when she used to work at a fast food joint. The cashier was a girl and had a short pixie haircut. There was a group of Jehovah's Witnesses that came in and insisted to my manager that they get a different cashier because they don't want any dykes serving them. The girl was recovering from cancer and has been regrowing her hair. They were immediately kicked out. That's one of the rudest things I've heard. Not really ducked up. But just a complete lack of understanding from a privileged person. I worked at a popular restaurant chain while in college. This was about 7 years ago. The owners of one of the largest, beer, breweries in the country came in to eat. I'd prefer to not say the name as I'm a fan of their product and promotional charity participation. Anyway. They are sitting there eating and the wife says to the husband I don't understand what you mean by living paycheck to paycheck. He explains to her what living paycheck to paycheck actually means in a very respective and unbiased fashion. She still doesn't get it. She questions why these people don't have any money left over after they pay their bills and why they don't just change that. Or why their bills are so high. Or why they don't just make more money. They were out to eat with another couple who also tried explaining this to her. A solid 10 minutes was spent on trying to educate this woman on the fact that most people don't live like she is used to. All of them sort of gave up trying when they realized she just didn't get it. You could literally see the confusion on her face. It gave me a new perspective on things. Not a waiter. But I was eating at a sushi restaurant with a friend. And this place was really small. Three. Maybe four tables. And also super quiet. A family of four came in and sat at the table right in the middle of the tiny dining room. It was a mom. A dad and what looked like to kids who were home from college for Thanksgiving break. I gathered from their conversation that the younger kid was a freshman and living in the dorms. He was tall and really skinny. And he seemed a little shy awkward. But basically a totally normal kid. The mom proceeded to spend the entire dinner grilling him on why he did not yet have a girlfriend at school. I really wish I had thought to record the conversation on my phone because I can't remember a lot of it now. But at one point the kid sarcastically made a misogynistic joke about how it is be picky or something like that to try to defuse the awkward situation. And I remember clear as day the mom came straight out with you're never going to get any pussy with an attitude like that. It was simultaneously the most mortifying and hilarious thing I've ever overheard in my life. I work as a bartender once a week. Just last night. An attractive couple came in. They already looked halfway smashed. For a while I thought I heard a faint buzzing sound. But didn't think much of it. As I came up behind them to serve them food. The lady embraced her man and said oh god. Turn this thing off before I lose my mind. I had a raging bonus since for the entire time they were there. Not sure this fits in this post perfectly. But it was the most memorable interaction of my restaurant career. We got a call that Muhammad Ali and his family were coming in for dinner. My manager tells me he'll be sitting in my section. I'm stoked. The former heavyweight champion of the world is going to be sitting in my restaurant. Well. He shows up being pushed in a wheelchair. He spent the entire evening coloring in a coloring book with a big blue marker. He could hardly hold the pen. It was one of the saddest and most sobering things I've ever seen. To see someone who was such an incredible athlete and competitor be reduced to a shell of his former self was really sad. His family was really nice and was good to see they took good care of him. 
at a table in Denny's at 2am a lady accused her brother of molesting her daughter while I was taking their order. She threw hot coffee in his face while I was asking what kinds of sides they wanted with their slams. He promptly picked up a steak knife and lunged across the table. I don't remember how big he was but he was bigger than me and I'm 6 feet 2 inches. I grabbed him around the neck and he quickly stood up with me riding his back like father and son. I guess I put enough pressure on his neck that he finally went to ground. Everything calmed down after that. All this happened in front of my girlfriend who wanted to hang out with me on the 4th of July. Made for an exciting evening. Overheard to sweets talking about a football player that was going to be traded to another team months before it happened. It was the biggest trade of the season. I worked at a high end beast road during summers in college and the rule was if even if we were closing at 11 o'clock and someone came in at 10.59. We served them. So this older, attractive white man in his 60s came in with a small but built Asian guy in his 20s. They sat at across from each other at a to top and just ordered wine and dessert. This is pretty typical so I brought out their food. And as they were my last table. I could leave after I had bust their table and tipped out. So I started packing up the silverware and menus at the tables in my section and doing my other closing duties. I was walking by their table and heard they were having a heated yet quiet argument. As if they didn't want to make a scene. I heard snippets of no. $600 and you spend the night by the older male and no. $800. BJ. One round of now. And I leave when I'm done and I was mentally like okay. And let them negotiate alone. A waitress at our restaurant. A wealthy but crazy 45 year old divorcee. Was written up four times for saying obscene things to guests. The last straw. She gave a plate of food to a man at the bar with a huge mustache and said. Nice mustache. I'd like to sit on your face. And carried on back to kitchen as if she'd said nothing at all. I was tasked with serving a group of bros like these guys. They came in smelling like liquor. So none of the girls wanted to serve them. So I was their server. They were so drunk. The whole restaurant heard them say. Damn. I wanted the blonde. I'd totally rip her pussy. They reminded me about how they'll hook me up. They were douche bags. And we kicked them out after they returned the fourth colorful mixed drink because it didn't have enough kick. Here's the fun part. They wrote an email to management about how he's in a successful Fortune 100 company. How rich he is. And how we as a company disrespected him. A few threats here and there. A few offensive slurs. We tried to get him to name the company so we can forward all the BS he wrote to his workplace. But he never fell for the bait. A few minutes after dropping off a guy's Guinness I heard him explaining to his family that in a pint of Guinness the bubbles go down instead of up. It's the only beer in the world that this happens with. And that scientists cannot explain why. I waited on a table with two young couples on a date. As I approached to clear the table. I overheard them speaking about sex. They immediately went quiet once they saw me approach while smirking not too subtly to each other. I asked them if it was good and they all said they greatly enjoyed it. Upon which I asked, and how was the food? They erupted in laughter and I got a very generous tip. Good times.